Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's reading. For this week I am divining through dried flowers. Here are a bunch of flowers that I dried for you to do these um, readings. It's also known as floromancy, the, um, the divination through flowers, but these are dried. Um, so I hope you enjoy that and then also I'll be pulling out some cards towards the end. And uh, please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and also, please remember that these are general readings, so some things may resonate, some may not. Do take what does and leave what doesn't. All right. Okay, 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 Scorpio, let's begin. Scorpio, Scorpio. 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 Hmm. A lot of passion here. I'm feeling uh, getting a lot of passion coming from you this week. Very impassioned with things that you are wanting to say, things that you're wanting to do. There's there's passion in every area here. You're feeling very, very energetic and very alive. And there's a spiritual element here that I see, Scorpio, that you are delving into a lot more. You've, you're finding peace within some kind of spirituality that you feel very connected to. And I also get that you're very passionate about that. So if you are practicing something or you do whatever it is that you do... Um, there's something very beautiful coming from it. There's some good signs. There's progress here. You're tapping into something a lot deeper um, that's growing. That's growing. And you're balancing lots of things at the same time. I'm seeing you're balancing. You, you know, when you want to play the balancing act, you do it very, very well, especially this week anyway. Um you feel like nothing is too much. Like you can take on quite a few things, but being careful not to burn yourself out. Uh, but you've got, you seem to, you know, have a really good control over things. Can you hear those lovely birds? <laughs> um, yes. So, the good sign there. Um, it's it, this is lovely because you're very kind of you have a very strong will for you like where where there's a will there's a way there seems to be your motto this week where there's a will there's a way and you're not wanting to turn down any work there's some extra work for those of you you know if you have a full-time job or not or whatever it is that you do mainly there could be extra work here um, but I do see for some of you you're happy to take that on because you have some ideas of project look at those birds <laughs> but oh but um projects for the coming near future um i'm seeing different destinations the things that you're wanting to you're planning to do and you're kind of wanting to get your um finances right you know and good and stable so that's why you're you're being very positive i'm loving this energy scorpio it's very different from the others that I've done so far, that you're, 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 you're giving yourself such a positive attitude regardless of the situation that you're in. And I love that because you're seeing the best in everything. You're able to get out of any kind of sticky situations easier and quicker as well because of that. For example, if you have like a, a bill... Um, or you have some expense, you know, an expense that you have to pay, but it's so much more than you, than you expected. And, um, and it's like, ouch, you know, like gulp, like, oh, that's a lot. But instead of dwelling on it, what I see you doing in this kind of energy is saying, I am so grateful I can pay this. I mean, hopefully you can, but, you know, if you if you you are in the situation. But this is just an example, you know. Um, you you're turning it around by saying thank you. I am so grateful that I can afford this, and I, that I am in a position where I am able to pay for this. And the rest, it doesn't matter. The rest, you can gain that back. Really, I'm seeing this energy very strongly here. I'm loving it. I'm loving that kind of way of seeing things and thinking about things because it gets 
things aligned a lot quicker and a lot stronger. It relieves stress as well and you're able to really be quite grounded and see things clearer. Be smart with what you um, invest in, for example. Um, I do see you may have been in some kind of connection uh, in the recent past or it's been around you not long ago. It could be still present, but there's been a lot of a wasted energy in that sense and you know it I'm not sure about the word waste but but sometimes you feel like it's been a waste it's been you know dragging gone and it's been a little bit tiresome shall we say it's but you've been your energy you're just tired of having to give it you know give 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 and try to it's like it is is it is it worth continuing is it worth always kind of fixing in and out in and out on off on off there is space much needed space between you and this uh, person whatever kind of connection this is take a breather could be even be a parent but you're taking a breather you're taking you're going out you're stepping out and you're breathing and you're just going for a long walk and you're just taking time out which is really really important there's something to do with childhood memories as well that's coming back to you there is just a really deep sense of of gratitude here even if things didn't always were not perfect in your childhood but there's certain things that you it reminds you who you are who you are as a person as well you could be receiving some kind of message or gift um, from somebody that um, is going to make you very, very flattered in that sense. Um, also, could be working on a business proposal that you're uh, looking to present to somebody. And I am seeing luck is turning around for you as well. And keep doing what you're doing, Scorpio. I, I love this energy of yours. I love it. We have the King of Swords. We have the King of Swords. Oopsie. The King of Swords. The Page of Swords. Sorry, a few cards fell. One second. Okay. King of Swords. Oopsie. King of Swords. Uh, and the Tower. Okay. I enjoy the Tower. I do, I do, I do. Because it's, you know, like help from the universe in whichever way and i know sometimes it's it feels like ah but there's always a big reason for it um you know it's a huge test to to how you handle situation which by the looks of it you handle things excellently in this energy that we're in for you this week king of swords page of swords and the tower um it's a lot of progress something that you have been really kind of working on very deeply strongly there's something you, you've been really kind of like probably rehearsing i'm guessing the word rehearsing you've been rehearsing something um but something here is 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 coming through where it feels like a, you feel relieved you feel relieved there is what i get from his a, a form of a justice that's coming through as well and i see that is also why you're feeling very pleased with how things are starting to shape up but there is like you know mannerisms here around you is a, a changing your understanding that you are attracting exactly what it is that you like there is some kind of um Something that you've been learning that's been it's been a journey this kind of uh, course of learning this these experiences that you've been going through um that is preparing you here for the tower that comes in and it's like something is going to be very like, completely unmasked unmasked and it 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 there's like at this point I don't see any strings attached and it's very, it's going to be very, very, very clear and possibly easy as well as to decisions that you take um, at that point. You know, something could be um, removed from a situation, a big blockage, a big, big blockage. That's why I was seeing no strings, no more strings attached to a blockage that you 
have had in your path remove that away from you I, I, there's something here that's guiding you as well along this path and the lightning to me is like mother nature you know the universe that's coming in to be like scorpio here we go like but you know as long as you remain with this focus of yours um you're looking at high success you're looking at something that you know working towards your goal um that you can 100 percent achieve like without a doubt six of coins and the nine of swords this is that exact confirmation situation that i was seeing here this is a confirmation to that about that you've been giving a lot more energy to a situation than giving it back and you're wondering whether it is worth continuing this it's caused you enough stress and anxiety and it's something that you don't need because you've been doing really well with with the clarity that you've been having with your positivity there's something what keeps coming through like attracts alike there is this that keeps coming through you may be working on this very consciously this week and that is why you don't need this unequal um give and take of yourself within a partnership that you could be in whatever kind of connection that there, that there is but you're needing um a break you're needing a space from that and, and things will start to ease you know you have to kind of just focus on on what you have going um because i do see there's a needy energy around you there's a needy energy it's not doing you so well but you know what to do and that's why possibly it's just keeping you up at night but you know you're you're strong you're brave four of coins that to make a certain decision to you know uh, have the others own it and deal with it and you know you can go on now we have the four of coins and there's something here that the four of coins tells me you're needing to Keep your cards close to your chest here. You're wanting to also, you know, in terms of finances, being very careful with your finances, uh, being a lot wiser. And I think I did mention that being smarter with what you, you know, this, the kind of seeds that you plant. And you could be taking your time. You feel like there's no, no, not necessarily a rush at this moment when it comes to that. But also there's something that you're wanting to protect your own energy because you don't want to give it away like you did before. And it just really became like a grueling task every time. And that's just not good for you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes, Scorpio. And then we have the Ace of Coins or the Ace of Pentacles and other decks. Um, well done. You're, you've taken the right course of action here by protecting what you have, protecting your energy, not draining out your resources. That's very important. Uh, until you're able to really get to this point, the Ace of Coins, where what I'm getting, by the way, something could end up being very, very profitable. If you're working on something, you could be seeing profits from this if it's your own business or something like that. There's some something what I'm getting is very profitable, but you do achieve something very, very great. You, you've been aiming at this goal and you do get it. So a lot of prosperity is coming through for you as well. Um, and you, there's a lot of loving energy as well. You see, the universe comes in with this lightning, then it rewards you. It removes this blockage. Things come to light that you need to deal with. You handle it well and you get rewarded in a very beautiful and sincere way. Scorpio, thank you so very much for being here. I really hope that this was helpful. And thank you so much for all your support, for all your donations, for your beautiful comments. It means the world to me. Thank you all so very much. I love you all.